Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play Saga 3. Last time we made it to Kinea, because we're on our way to Mount Hasid to find Banzai to um, see about getting the Excalibur, the sacred sword that we need to defeat Ragna, who's the uh, main boss guy who was apparently flooding the uh, other world. So here we have the Hardwinds and the Echidnas. Let's see, we'll use our Scorching Hell. Um, we'll use this against the uh, Hardwinds, or not the Echidnas, the Securities. Yeah, there we go. Uh, whatever, I don't really care. And there we go, okay. So the hard ones have 521 HP, and they're weak to fire! And the securities we saw last time, they also have 521 HP, and they're just weak to magic in general. So, uh, yeah, take them out any which way you want to. At this point, wow, they're actually doing a lot of damage, but, eh, so are we. So I'm probably gonna have Gloria on pretty much full-time healing duty. Um, yeah, we're good. Oh, no, that will turn into a, uh human, and I don't want to do that. So keep on moving and grooving right along. If you want to make one of your characters a cyborg, now is probably a good time to do it, because we're going to be getting a great sword that's really good really soon. Let's see what we got over here. Twin Head. Okay, so looks like Twin Head's the new guy here, so he has 586 HP. He's weak to Earth. Uh, let's see, we'll use that. He's resistant to weapons, yeah, just to go fire, um, on, I don't know, Echidna, whatever. I want you to start healing, because we kind of need a heal. And, ooh, let's try this new silence that we have against the security. And, there we go. Okay. So, yeah, um, these guys, they're not difficult at all. Um, the Echidna we saw last time, but we saw her giant form. In her regular form, she has 557 HP, and she's still weak to fire! And if it wasn't pretty obvious, since we're finding a person at the top of this, um, what is it, mountain? That, yeah, we are in fact going to have a boss fight at the top of this mountain as well. So, you're going to want to keep that in mind and save up your time gear points. Um, make, if you're playing on a normal difficulty, you know, save your charges, don't use your best weapons, things like that. Also, um, you probably want to equip an accessory that blocks against poison, um, for the, or not poison, for, you want to, okay, you want to equip an accessory that will block against paralysis, whoa, 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 that would block against paralysis, um, for this dungeon, because a lot of the enemies here can paralyze you. And we bought those earrings last time, and that will help uh, protect against paralysis, so definitely equip those. Here we have an, exca er, an excavation point way over here in the corner. And what do we have? Ooh, the Psycho Sword. Um, that's based upon your magic power, so I'm not too concerned about that at all. So let's head over here to the uh, second area. Oh, wow! Tons of monsters, tons of treasures. Uh, over here is just to grab um, the various excavations and treasures that they have over here. So we'll go the other side. Uh, I'll probably just cut to the other side, actually, uh, in order to grab the treasures on that side. So let's see what we got here. Uh, we have a mummy cat. They're new. They have 546 HP and they are weak to Earth. Uh, but yeah, just keep on going out the same way that we always do. Um, one thing that you could do, if you wanted to, um, is not use Gloria to heal during battle, but just hit the select button as the, um, as the battle ends, and you can get an automatic heal, but that will not increase your healing capability, um, the little healing points. Man, it seems like all I get is the same monsters over and over and over again, so I probably won't be showing any more battles, uh, after this besides the boss fight. That'll be good for you guys, it'll make things go a bit quicker. But hey! Yeah. Not that these battles are challenging at all, but eh, they're there. See the little auto heal in the bottom right hand corner? If you hit the select button right now, you can heal, but I don't need to. But it's there if you wanted to. Okay, so let's get our uh, excavation treasures over here. Oh, good lord. As you can tell, it really is at this point in the game that the monsters start respawning really quickly and also moving really quickly, so uh, it's really hard to outrun these monsters. Um, they just, you know, they'll, they'll chase you to the ends of the earth, they're a pain in the damn ass. But, ooh! Ooh, wow, am I actually, you know, making it away from these monsters? Sweet! Although this asshole chased me all the way over here. We'll get into the cyber suit, so if you didn't want to buy it back in town, you could just wait till here. Um, I'd rather just buy it. I... T tons of gold! 
So what I'm going to do here is I am going to grab this treasure, get the light stone, and I'm going to actually meet you on the left-hand path because nobody wants to see me cut out a whole bunch of uh, Okay, battles. I'm on the left-hand side, and there's really no treasures or anything to find on this side. It's kind of a straight shot north. Uh, avoiding as many random battles as humanly possible. Oh, there's... Oh, th oh, oh, sweet! There is an excavation point over here, yeah. I hate how it, like, vanishes after a second or two, and then I totally forget exactly what's here. Ugh, like I really need more gold. Okay, got that. Keep on moving on. Whoa! Oh, man. These guys are stressing me out. And they all seem to aggro me. Like, sometimes, you know, they would be gray, and then you can kind of scout them. But, man, these guys are aggro you from the start. And they're fast, too. You really can't outrun them, which is a total pain in the... Well, except for those slow asses. Okay, well, moving right along to uh, Area 3. And there's four areas total, so we're about halfway through. Oh, okay. Well, there's no dig points over here, so we just have to head over to the right and uh, grab this treasure. But again, we have to go against the current to make everything as... ...hard as humanly possible. We have someone new here! Uh, let's see. We'll use our flame sword against them. Yeah, keep on going. You want as much fire going on uh, as possible. Yeah, whatever. Anyway, these new guys, the uh, King Wa Shens, they have 469 HP and they are weak to fire! So, yeah, just go all out. Um, it really doesn't matter as far as weaknesses are concerned because they have such little amounts of HP and you're dealing like 800 damage to them, so, yeah. Like, look at that! Look at that damage with Firestorm! It's so good. But hey! And what is it, water? Okay, well, let's see if you can't get any more traits. I got Stone Immune for Sharon earlier. That's pretty nice. I got that off of the uh, Echidnas. So that can come in pretty handy. Won't have to equip those anti-stone accessories anymore. Nice! Okay, so I uh, got rid of them. Awesome. Ha hey And this will, you can turn in for a uh, Light Stone on the Stelethanos. Get away from me. I don't want to fight any of you. Uh, I don't want to fight you either. So yeah. Now we can actually use the current to uh, soar away from these people, which is, you know, the one good use of the current. So now we want to head this away, up towards the uh, first exit. I was looking at my garden today, and the first roses of the season came in, which is really nice. And also, my grapevines are coming in pretty nicely, too. I don't think I've ever really talked about it before, but I am really into gardening. I have corn out there. I'm trying corn this year. We'll, we shall see. Um, okay, perfect. I have... Um, Let's see, I have tomatoes out there. I think I have four tomato plants out there. Um, they normally do pretty decently well, considering, you know, it's Nevada and it's a desert and they don't really grow here, but I put them in the shade and they're, they're, they're okay. I have an orange tree out there which hasn't produced a single orange in five years. Pain in the damn ass. I have four lemon trees um, and they do pretty okay. I like to drink lemon water a lot, so I, I really do use the uh, the lemons that I uh, that I have over there. Wow, I'm doing great avoiding all these battles. I have two blackberry brambles, which uh, I love. I love to, um, you know, just snack on those. They're, they're really nice. I have a pomegranate tree, um, which is just really pretty. Right now it has the, uh, the red pomegranate blooms on it. But the actual pomegranates themselves won't be in season or, you know, be able to really be picked nicely until probably, like, September, like, late September, October. Um, well, oh, God, I tried to scout it, and it was like, fuck you, no. And, uh, I don't really know what that little Japanese character was, but it was basically like, no, screw you, <laughs> you're not getting scouted today, which sucks, but yeah. Yeah, if you try to pick those pomegranates too early, it, all the seeds are just white and really bitter. Oh, uh, let's see. I also have some onions out there, which actually do shockingly well. And speaking of things that do shockingly well, I have a rosemary bush out there, which I planted. It was just a little small plant uh, that I bought, I think, at, like, Trader Joe's or something. And anyway, it has just blossomed into a huge rosemary uh, bush, and I love it. I use it for chicken stock and all sorts of other stuff. It comes in pretty handy. So yeah, if you're ever going to make a roast or a steak or something like that, um, it would be really nice to have uh, some rosemary for that as well. Um, it makes things nice. I also have basil out there. I have parsley out there. They do 
okay in partially shaded areas. The sun here is way too much for them. But you can put them out in the sun right now, but then later on in the, um, what is it? The summertime, I moved the pots, um, I, I moved that one in particular underneath the pomegranate tree so it gets a lot more shade, um, because the, the summer sun is just way too much for those herbs. What's that? Why are you invading the other world, sinking it beneath the sea? Answer me, Belial. Mind your place, Barzai. Nothing you say will change matters. For this is the will of the great god Ragna. Our world already enjoys such plenty, bountiful harvests, good people. What more does Ragna want? Ragna has spoken. Nothing more matters. But I see now that you've become an obstacle to Ragna's will. For that, I cannot allow you to leave alive. Yikes! Back off, you monster! We won't let you make a snack out of this man. Who do you think you are, pest? Do you presume that you can oppose the gods of this world and live? All you do is cause suffering. What kind of gods are you? Whatever you call yourself, you're nothing but an enemy to us. And we'll kick his ass next time. Let's play Saga 3. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.